Broadcasting from the Washington Hilton in Washington, D.C., Solutions Review is on location at Boomi World 2019. Brought to you by Dell Boomi. It's Doug Atkinson, and we are back here on the expo floor in the Community Zone at Boomi World 2019. And we're joined by a customer of Boomi's who's been telling a great story. That's Miralee Anikvor, who's the director of IT at Gilead Sciences. Uh, and and, and yes, just talk a little bit about Gilead Sciences. So, fairly important company and uh, and a really interesting customer story. Yes, Gilead is a uh, it's a life sciences company which uh, endeavors to meet unmet medical needs of diseases of customers. So, Gilead is popularly known in the world for solving the hepatitis C, actually they cured it. So. They are into big uh, research in solving inflammatory and uh, infectious diseases. They are the ones trying to find the cure for liver diseases. Off late, they are into cancer therapy. And uh, the, the company has a lot of focus uh, uh, to solve a lot of this unmet medical needs in the world. So one of the greatest biomedical company uh, with a great passion, great scientists. I'm so happy to be part of it, solving the technical issues to enable them to do what they need to do best. Well, that's great. Great introduction, and and with it comes uh, a company like that comes all kinds of interesting uh, constraints with regard to data and with regard to uh, solving the types of integration problems that you faced. Tell me a little bit about the story that that you've been telling other cus other customers, prospects, sure. and so forth. So the uh, the journey started a long time back, about four years back, when they realized that there are a lot of uh, legacy applications in the company, and then they wanted to adopt the best of breed solutions in the market, for example, SaaS solutions. You know, it could be Salesforce cloud solutions that have been coming up. So they, they kind of, they wanted to reach out to the world to use the best of breed software. So there came challenges for the in-house, uh, we, we usually have the enterprise service bus, which is within the company, intranet offerings which works very well for all you need within the company. But when you want to go out, reach for data outside, when you want to reach for applications outside, then it becomes a bottleneck. So we need some kind of a technology that will enable us to move forward. So the journey we've been doing is to find that uh, external uh, partnership using Boomi as an integration platform, because Boomi at that time was uh, a perfect fit. We did do a lot of proof of concepts with other vendors as well, but. Boomi stood out for ease of use, ease of development, lightweight infrastructure, and also their growth, growth pattern or the path for future was pretty good. So we don't want to invest something, money in something, and build everything up from upground, from dirt, to see that the technology is going nowhere. So Boomi had the promising um, take on what they have for the future in the roadmap. So it became an obvious choice, and the last uh, two and a half, three years, we've been building in Boomi, although the legacy platform still exists. So we have a solid plan. I should say we are in transformation today, right? We started the transformation, we're in the middle of it, and in the next two years, we would complete the transformation and consolidate a lot of what we do in a single beautiful framework called Boomi, which will enable us to move forward. Well, and I want to I want to dig in on that a little bit because Digital transformation is the most overused buzzword phrase of all time, but yet it is happening, but it happens at a different pace for everybody, right? True. And, and and ultimately, everybody's going to have to face this yes. challenge, uh, and and there are serious considerations to, to have to take into effect. And, and, and I'm curious about some of the lessons that you've learned as you've been you know, moving through that that True. path. So, so interesting you mentioned digital transformation. It is a buzzword. In fact, our senior leadership believes in digital transformation. We are launching digital transformation, whatever it may be is what the word there words it. But then we are focusing on each area to understand what digital transformation means. For example, to me it means single piece of data that is useful to anybody, in, whether it's a customer, whether it's your employee, whether it's your partner, uh, or anybody else you're dealing with, wholesalers and retailers and transportation, that is made available at the big and call that moment. That makes their application um, that, more, that much more effective to transform the digitization of the technology 
across in a very automatic and seamless and timely manner. That's my ex um, kind of take on what digital transformation is. Well, and it's and it's so it, is Gilead Science is thinking about that all the way from the top down. Is that how how you've gotten to this? Point? Exactly. This is a, a top down approach. Executives believe in this. It's not that the technology is being pushed up. Marketing people going the digital transformation in the areas they seem fit. Um, R and D seems to go in the same direction. Finance wants the digital transformation because any any kind of slack in this old process, the company ecosystem will slow down your trans progression to digitization or digital transformation. Well, and that's that's something we've been hearing as well across the board. Is it, there has to be some universal buy-in from senior level executives right. on down to the line and of business folks. You said it. You said it so right because it's not just the take of the digital transformation, we're also talking about governance. We're not talking about governance, we're talking about data inventory, we're talking about metadata, meaning all these, uh, as uh, you mentioned, uh, Michael this morning, talk about metadata and the usefulness of what a metadata to business functions is. So we are approaching it from all angles to see digitization is not just a buzzword, we need to handle it carefully and responsibly so that the governance process is in place and it's going to be for the long run. So we're approaching it from different angles as well as uh, in, the, in Gilead because we want that to be a solid plan with, fun with, with many functions that could use it effectively. Well, and, it, and you know, given the fact that it right. is integration, it's touching so many places within the organization Absolutely. that if you don't have that buy-in, right. you're, you're going to right. have bumps. I, I, it's, it's a wake-up call and everybody understands that. The CEO believes in it. What more do you want? I mean, this has a lot of management support. That's where people tend to differ in other other areas. Our our CEO is very digital savvy. He comes from a solid commercial background and R&D background. So he believes in that, and that's a great plus for us. We already have the first step with this. Then all we need to do is engage in that process, help them move the technology alongside to the business digitization that you're expecting. Hopefully, we'll all arrive at a solid plan towards the end of the So I'm journey. curious. I'm curious, how, how did you get going with Boomi? Was it, I mean, there's a lot to Boomi. True, right? It's a true. platform after all. True. But where did where did you find the first value the, in the Boomi platform? Uh, uh, multiple things we found. One was uh, the current legacy infrastructure is pretty much, uh, it's very heavy. We have a SOA, EBS platform, uh, ESB platform. And then three years back, uh, when somebody came to us and said, hey, we need this interface and we need it to reach to the cloud. So we were like, oh, okay. The change of pace is faster than what we have in IT. So we started investigating. We did some people proof of concepts to see what's the best tool. We found uh, Boomi uh, out of all tools for its capabilities to run quickly, develop quickly, low core, less low infrastructure, and we also have a beautiful hybrid platform, the cloud-based metadata, and then because we are in a very compliant uh, environment, FDA compliant environment is is very strict in terms of their auditing, very strict in terms of traceability and tracking. We call it the GXP. The good X stands for manufacturing principles or whatever you can replace the X with. So that environment is highly regulated, highly compliant. So we want to run the data on site, whereas all the metadata in the cloud. With that kind of uh, start we had three years back, it was a fantastic platform for us to use. We used to turn around um, integrations uh, 30% faster than what we used to be before. Six weeks is now three weeks. Now we, on the journey, we matured the platform because it's not easy to bring a platform into a company and say, we're going to change, right? Exactly. So people are hyper race and especially in a GXP environment. So we matured the platform over the last two and a half years while the legacy platform is slowly being consolidated into a new platform. Yep. Conference levels are up. And then we have a success criteria in IT to really consolidate the whole thing that following next two years. So let's hope that happens and we're looking forward to it. So I'm curious about some lessons learned. So you've been through a lot of this. Oh, yes. You have more uh, to go, but I'm sure our audience would appreciate, you know, not necessarily specifics, but more general, so, you know, lessons and, and pitfalls that they might need to think through before they definitely. get De too tangled I can definitely up. speak to it. So as I said before, Boomi is very, very easy to build. With anything that's easy comes a lot of responsibilities. Think about it, right? 
Anything you're easy to do comes a lot of responsibility. Right. It's true for anything, right? Even for addiction, for that matter. I'm from sciences. I understand that. Yep. So, in Boomi, the ease of use and uh, the ease of build and ease of deployment is like you can do it in one week, in two hours in some cases. So, you got to have the right architecture in place, number one, because you're fine with five integrations. Before, you know, in six months it grows to 50, and in two years it grows to 100. Right, just then because you, you can't do a, something you doesn't have a mean problem you... in your lab that it's kind of, oh my God, how do I maintain this? Is it all up to standards? If each one works a different way, who's going to support it? <laughs> That's a very subtle and interesting lesson that it's so easy to use that you can begin to get carried away by using it and not careful. realize the ramifications of all the... all the. Absolutely. That said, we put a beautiful architecture and governance very in clever. place. You, we make sure we have some core components we build. For example, it goes through the process. Are you logging it right? Are you logging everything the same way? Are you providing heart of all the trails of transactions you go through in the same way? So what that does is, over the long run, it builds standardization into interfaces. It's easy to build. New guys come in, easy to onboard. They know, they go through the standards, naming conventions, inter interface patterns, this is how we build things, this is what you use for locking, that's what you use for auditing, this is what you use for exception. Given. So everything looks the same. Support team knows how to support. The economy is now self-sustaining, right? The ecosystem is self-surviving. So that's what we are looking forward to, and that will be a gotcha. If you don't pay attention, Take your time, make sure you get your arses right, you know, in front of the cart first, and then you, you can draw any amount of weight you want to. That has to be, uh, that's a kind of direct message. I'm not trying to even hint at it, but but what we did in the first six months taught us the lesson we stopped. We took three months to do all this process in place, and we are still improving on it. It's a living thing, right? Standards change day by day. Exactly. You gotta, you gotta be up to, up, to the, up to the step to make sure things are all working right. So we do that on a daily basis. We have an architecture team. We have a governance team that takes care of all these things. So hopefully, in the long run, it's all be very fruitful. So how, what would you suggest to somebody who's thinking about uh, going to a next level solution? Um, how, how, would you, how would you advise them to get started? To start small, find some problem? I, I'm always a proponent of uh, what I call a steel threading or a POC. Right, so in the previous kind of organization I worked for, they were not too sure. It's a very, it's a FAA regulated. I used to work for aer aeronautical industry very well. So what we did was, hey, let's get a, get the, the worst problem you got or the, the urgent problem you got. I'm going to do a proof of concept to prove this, this journey until everything matches and everything is satisfied to our use case. Then a couple of those POCs is going to win you customers because you solve the problem, right? End of the day, you solve customers' concerns. That's yeah. very important. What will be your technology? So you start there, and then, then before you know, it's a floodgate is open. You got to have this governance in place before that happens. Make sure you're everything ready, and then progression becomes a lot more easier for you. So I would start with a um, good use case POC. That's not just for the business. That's for you too, for IT. It's because. You, you, you're kind of, we are always, uh, the IT engineers are always kind of on the fence. Until, unless you, until, unless, you know, it's like the proof is in the pudding, right? I got to do the people who say, I want to make sure it works. I want to make sure it flows. Yeah, it's yeah. like a, a plumber, right? Yep. All the pipes are done. How do you prove it's working? You got to pour some water from the top and make sure there's no <laughs> leaks. Same, same concept. So. Outstanding. That's yep. great advice. <laughs> Thanks for swinging by. We, Not at we, all, pleasure. Our, our audience is going to appreciate that. Uh, and it's always nice to talk to somebody who's actually in the mix and, and, uh, and is really you know, dealing with the goods and the bads and the challenges and the problems. So No problems. I um, appreciate the opportunity to share. I'm more than happy to be here. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot. Have a great show. Yes, sir. Thanks. You bet.